friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. So today I'm gonna to try something I have never tried before. Now I have pressed hamburger patties, which I'll also be doing in another video. However, you keep seeing like those smash burgers, right? And I know you could just easily put them in the pan, um, but I like to put things in the freezer so it's just ready to go for a use. So what I did yesterday is a local store in Lansing had hamburger on sale for $2.49 a pound, which is not super cheap, but it's really not that expensive for nowadays. So I was thinking I wanted to make some of those smash burgers because sometimes we do like those and you can make them into different things, obviously. It doesn't have to be a Big Mac or a taco or whatever. You can make it into whatever type you want. So what I did here, this is what I did earlier off camera. I'll bring this down just a little bit here. And I just put parchment paper on both sides and I just pressed it in this or tortilla press. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you down here. I'm gonna show you what I did. I have my hamburger sitting over here. And I did about a ball, about what would be, you know, something like this that would fit in the palm of your hand, okay? Okay, just squish that down a little bit. Put that other parchment paper over the top, kind of re-squish it down a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my tortilla press here and squish it. So all these should be all the same thickness on all these that I'm going to make. Now Mark made me up a few of these parchment papers. I don't know for sure what happened to my, I'm just probably out of them, of those pre-cut ones I get at the dollar store. So I think as long as you use the same amount of meat and you do about the same, I think you're always going to get the same exact amount. And this is this is pretty easy for the most part. And I mean that's a little bit off, but you know it will shrink up when it cooks. But I mean this is pretty easy. Um, like I said, it makes for a super nice um, smash burger. And I'll be making probably about, I don't know, probably eight or so of these. And that way um, we can just pull these out of the freezer as we want to use them and use them in smash burgers. Now, so tonight um, we'll use some of these as smash burgers so you can see. See how nice that turns out? <laughs> um, you'll see how this works very nicely. I just have this, this one and one more that's already pre-cut already. And then of course I have to just clean this mess up and stuff. But um, I don't know for sure what type of smash burgers we're going to make yet. Um, I'm going to talk to Mark about that, see what he wants to have. And um, we can go from there. But this, like I said, this was a very good idea because I already had the press here because I've tried to make my own tortillas, which I've not been successful at ever. But obviously that's going to be the bigger um, shells, not just the small shells like the little taco shells. And this one's not big enough. So anyways, what you're going to see later is I'm going to go ahead and post this video and then what you're going to go ahead and see later is another uh, video using these. And then, like I said, what's going to be left, we're going to go ahead and put in the freezer. Uh, we'll put them, like, in a freezer bag so they don't get uh, freezer burn or anything. And um, we'll pull them out as we need them. And that should be lots of fun. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below, have you ever made your smash burgers? If you have made your smash burgers, have you made them any differently than like this? Um, what are your favorite types of smash burgers? So maybe if I see that now before I actually uh, make dinner, um, what do you serve yours with? I mean, is it just usually french fries? Is it what kind of side? So I'm sure if I want to know this, a whole bunch of people do. So if you have made this, let me know in the comments down below. And um, we'll be back at dinner time, but this will be two separate videos. And thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day.